General Motors seems to have looked at all of the pitfalls and issues Tesla's full self-driving has been facing over the years and thought, there must be a better way. Complicated intersections and city streets have proven to be a real issue for Tesla's semi-autonomous program. So GM is trying to avoid all these issues when it debuts Ultra Cruise on its Celestique flagship sedan in 2024. Unlike full self-driving, Ultra Cruise is gonna prompt the driver to take over when it's in a traffic circle or navigating a complicated intersection. Basically, it's not going to work all the time. It's not gonna look at every single road as if it can actually do it because it can't and neither can Tesla's. That being said, Cadillac and General Motors say that it does still cover about 95% of all paved roads. GM has apparently been repeating the phrase safely deploy when it comes to Ultra Cruise. They don't want to run into the issues that Tesla has faced with full self-driving. Full self-driving is currently facing a number of lawsuits, a bunch of recalls, and a full investigation from the US Department of Justice. It's not happy days in Austin, Texas for Tesla. Instead of using just cameras like Tesla does for now at least, they say maybe radar will come back at some point, GM's decided to use a safety suite of different sensors. You got cameras, you got LiDAR, you got radar. It's pinging around, it's got a 360 view of the car to make sure that it doesn't crash. If you want Ultra Cruise, you're gonna have to wait a little while. Initially, it's only gonna be available on the $300,000 Cadillac Celestique that's going on sale sometime next year, but you can expect it to kind of make its way down the GM portfolio to some, I wouldn't say cheaper options, but you know, cheaper options. However, that does free up Super Cruise, which is gonna start making its way into way more pedestrian cars across the GM universe of stars. For more on this story and all things automotive, check out jalopnik.com.